This is part one of two podcasts dealing with salts that are acidic, neutral, and basic. Our second podcast is going to be how to do problems to figure out what the pH of salts are as we gases and bases. So in this first podcast, let's learn about what salts are and how you figure out if they're acidic, neutral, or basic. So if you notice, there's salts here, sodium chloride, iron 2 chloride, and potassium fluoride on the left-hand side. I went ahead and drew out water and wrote it as HOH so you can see the hydrogen and the hydroxide ions so you can follow what's going on better. And I went ahead for each of the sodium and chloride, etc. I put them so that you actually can see the ions that are floating around in the aqueous solution. Because for all of these, they're going to form aqueous solutions. Now if you look at each of the examples up here, these are basically like double replacement reactions, aren't they? So what's going to happen? The chlorine and the hydrogen are going to come together and the sodium and the hydroxide. Chlorine and hydrogen, iron and hydroxide. Fluoride and hydrogen and potassium and hydroxide. So on this side, I'm going to go ahead and color code for you and put the ions that are actually floating around in this solution, this aqueous solution. Okay, so the H and the Cl and the H and the F are going to come together and here the OH ions are going to be attracted because the negatives and positive attract to each other to try and form a compound. But by the virtue of me having aqueous underneath each of these, each of these actually doesn't have positive and negative. They're not there, okay? At least if you had a compound. But actually the ions are floating around in water. So in some ways I would like you to picture that those positive and negatives are there. Okay, but the way we actually write an equation, that's not proper to put them there. So now let's look, and by the way, let's fix this so that it works. Okay, and I'm not going to balance this. All right, I should put a two out in front, etc. And we're just looking to see what's going on. So if you look at sodium hydroxide in problem number one, what's going on here? This is a strong base, and this is a strong acid. So this makes what's called a neutral salt because when the strong base and strong acid flow next to each other, they make a neutral salt. What about iron chloride? Well, iron chloride forms a weak base and a strong acid. And so ver therefore, this is an acidic salt because a strong acid wins. What about this situation? Well, here I have a strong base and a weak acid. And so this salt is going to be a basic salt. Now that's the long way when you actually dissociate um, salts and you show using a, an equation. I'm going to show you a shortcut that you can use. Right? I'm going to go ahead and put HOH so you can follow what's going on. Right? So what happens when we put all these solids into water? Shortcut method. There you go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use a highlighter so you can see well, we'll use that. That's fine. Our combinations. So there's that combination, and there's this combination. Okay? So for the yellow, and for this right here, let's go ahead and figure out what we have. So what do we got going on? I have, for HCl, that's a strong acid. And for NaOH, that's a strong base. So this is neutral. FeOH is a weak base, and this is a strong acid, so that makes it an acidic salt. And HF is a weak acid, and KOH is a strong base, so that makes this a basic salt. And there's your shortcut and your long way of figuring out if you have an acidic, neutral, or basic salt.